Okay guys, take a look what kind of Max we're loading today. We're loading something kind of unique. 84 Max. That's one of them. Just running to charge the battery. But the second one gotta get it's running, but the brakes aren't released because I'm building enough air pressure, so close that on and just load that one up the top. Well here's truck number two. Got to get the look at that Mac. Mac motor in here too. So guys Sorry about the weird orientation on this, but here's what's been going on. So basically, we sh I shut down that truck, about time to chain it up. This truck right here, we ran out of diesel. So the only thing we could actually do right now is I need uh, they need to release this brake because this, actually this wheel right here, this axle doesn't release because because there's it's broken down there not sure if you can tell that's why it's not releasing so he's gonna back off the brake on that one axle and i got a set up here this is all going to the port of florida so i'm not gonna be showing how i'm gonna get the uh, get gonna deliver i'm just gonna show that it's how i'm loading these so basically this thing works perfect what i'm gonna end up doing is because i want to uh just in case they gonna start or not start I might request the forklift of the port. I might not. We will see. So I'm probably going to request the forklift of the port to pick these up and just drop them down because it's just simply way too... I don't know if they're going to start, but they're drivable. So basically chain it down. That's what it looks like here. I should not get any in trouble for having it... Uh, wide it's not wide at all let's see here i'm gonna show you guys you you say your opinion but it is very close and it is not over just the mirrors are sticking out a little but i don't think they're really gonna care about the mirrors sticking out if anything i could take off the mirror with my our, my tool if dlt says so so that's what i'm gonna be doing but as far as i know the mirror it's not really sticking out, so I should be good. I, I have hauled these before with the mirror sticking out and no one has ever said anything. It, the load is not over on the bottom, so they're just the mirrors. So yeah, shouldn't say anything. Hopefully that's not the case. Let's go back to this truck and I'll tell you what it is. This, this is a twin stick Mac. I don't know what speed they are, but basically once I'm gonna start loading it up, I'm gonna, I can, I can go to my record and say that I drove a twin stick Mac 1984. For only a couple feet but still it's gonna be on my record so put a bucket here because there's no seat because i won't be able to push in the clutch standing up i mean i can but it's very hard to control once you're driving so it's a twin stick mac basically there was an air leak there so the mechanic that left to get fuel had the uh had to cut off all the wires on the dash because it was causing electrical sparks and burns and basically he spliced the airline on the side dash because it wouldn't build air because it was an air leak and down here so there's an air leak in that truck too, but it's not horrible, it, it builds air. But down here though, if you can see, he rerouted the, the whatchamacallit, he rerouted everything to this tank here instead of that one, because that one has four holes in the back somewhere there because it's all rusted out. So basically everything is rusty on this truck. Everything in this Mac is rusty, but, but I could say this, that they still run <laughs> but anyway so once i get both trucks loaded i need to bungee cord everything that's loose including these items right here because i don't know you know and i'm gonna also take off the batteries and put them down just on the trailer and then put a strap over because it's it's just gonna be in the way 
that's what I'm gonna end up doing. All right, guys, so this load is paying extremely well. That's why I'm um, doing with this. And I kind of don't have a choice right now this evening because if I don't get a load, basically, if this load cancels, so we're trying to make it work. If this load cancels, then I won't be able to find a load until tomorrow and your truck subs miles away. Basically, yeah, that's the only way to do it. It pays good, but if we, this load cancels, I'm screwed. I'm trying, well, I'm doing, I'm going to have a Hawaii vlog coming up soon, but if, uh, trying to get money before going to Hawaii for me and my wife's anniversary. So basically this right here has to work. Almost unchaining that right there. But yeah. So basically trying to get the air out of the fuel system and start this sucker up. Well boys, we got her started. Time to uh, back off the brakes on this one, free that wheel loose so that we can start driving this thing on the ramp. I already got that chain down, so here we go. Alrighty guys, so new course of action. New course of action is that that sucker actually starts up, even though it has a little tire. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be controlling this rig, push back, and then get pushed on the trailer. So hopefully this all works out. Okay guys, we just uh, just got this loaded, pushed, he pushed me on, rolled me on top, pushed me on top, and then since my rear end was sticking out a little, he just slid me over to the side. So now I just gotta chain these whole suckers down, put away the ramps, you know, put away the batteries, shut down the batteries, and then at the port, I'm just gonna have to request, you know, a forklift for all this. All right, guys. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I turned on my flash. It might be a little blurry. Let me try to clean that out. Eh, it didn't do any good. Well, there you go. There you go. Now it's better. Anyway, so chained it up like this. So I know for my trailer, Benson, it's rated that I could put the hook right by these blocks here and chain it down like that. So let's cross chain in the back. Let me show you how. If you can see the chains running down there, that's where I chained them down. A whole bunch of trees there, but hopefully they stay on there and don't do anything. Um, oops, there's a hole that I just almost fell through. Did this side like that, because that was the only way there. Let's see here, oops. There, I got a whole bunch of dirt in my boots. So, definitely taking a shower after this. And I got a scale in my, how much it is. Let's see here. Hopefully most of the dirt is gone from my shoes now. I do not like it when it's like that. No, it's not gone. Anyway, so did them like this here. And uh, if you go to the back, <clears throat> did it like this. So hopefully everything will be all right sooner or later. Just gonna have to get it forklifted, you know. And I tie down the battery so they don't go anywhere. Hopefully that keeps them. I'm going to keep an eye on it. It should. And yeah, everything else is a go. So. Time to hit the road. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll just say. If the weight is good. I will. Uh, you will not see another recording of this. So there you go, guys. Have a good day. Guys, I'm Eddie B. What? 2006. Okay, this particular package. Drive and attempt on the 6 Series.